YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we got another video for the G. We're gonna be changing the clutch master cylinder and the slave cylinder because the clutch pedal used to stick down and I'd have to pull it back up. But I adjusted the pedal to raise it higher so it still engages and I don't have to pull it back up. But I don't like that shit, so I'm just gonna fix the whole thing, change the clutch master cylinder, change the slave, and get it back to running smooth. So yeah, let's get this shit. All right, so first thing I did was take the cap off the clutch master reservoir, which is dirty as fuck. Now I'm gonna go under the car to drain it from the slave cylinder gonna drain it into this bucket. Looks like those two are both 13 millimeter bolts. And then I'm just gonna take that off and let it hang. After that, I'm gonna drain it from this drain. And let it all drip out. supposed to be like that is there a piece supposed to be there like what the fuck okay if you're watching this let me know because that's fucking weird this shit off ebay so we'll see how good it is <laughs> Just go up to the top and work on the master cylinder. Yes, sir. Sensors to bank B. If you can't reach them from the top of the engine, there it is on the bottom. I can easily reach it. And yeah, I don't have to take off the air intake and all that extra shit. That's if you're doing the cam sensors. Slave cylinder, you gotta take out that pin right there, pull that out, and then push that part in, and then that part comes out of it, and then the fork will be free. So you take off that ball right there, and then that ball up there, and the whole master slave should be able to push back and come out on the engine side. So we're gonna do that right now. Now that 
the inside stand. We're gonna come up, take off those two bolts, 10, take the reservoir off. And then we'll take off that clip so we can pull the hose off. And then there's a hard line on the master cylinder that we have to take off before we pull it out of the engine. Leave, and then you can pull it out of the engine altogether. This one's the old master cylinder, and this one's the new one. Also got this off eBay. So this side came off when I was taking off that bolt. Right here, it's on five, and this one has four threads. This one has five on my old one because I extended it so the clutch pe pedal engages higher. But I liked it with the four better. I, I only did that because this one was sticking to the ground and breaking and, and that shit was bullshit. So I'm gonna leave it on four when I throw it back in. Oh, also I just gotta take this off, this clip, squeeze it, pull it back, take the hose off and then put it onto the new one and I'm good. in through the engine side just got to put those bolts back on on the corner and then see the fork has to come into that hole again and then put the pin back in so it's connected to the clutch belt Got dot three brake fluid. 
You can use whatever you want, but this is what I'm using. I don't give a fuck. And they have to pump the clutch and keep pressing it up, down, up, down, up, down. And then once the pressure gets to the clutch, hold it down and you go under the car and crack open the bleeder from the slave. And then you just keep doing that until the, the clutch is all the way back up and you're good to go. Let's do that now. test drive hopefully hopefully the clutch pedal is fine again <laughs> and doesn't sink straight to the ground if it does I'll let you know if not I'll see you in the next video yes sir we on the way up yes sir we're in fucking business clutch goes up all the way Car starts. Let's go on the test drive. 